Hey there. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they have links so check that out. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell. And um, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you like the content in the videos and uh, questions and comments are welcomed. Um, Alright, let's go. I have got aquamarine and amethyst so i'm gonna put a drop of each down then i'm gonna put a drop for each of these now something i've been doing and i don't know if it has a lot to do with it or it helps but i don't want the colors mixing together so when i put a drop down or drop down they seem to blend really quick if i do the blue first and then the purple i'm going to do white on the blue then on. it seems to stop it i don't know if it does but in my head it does oh, that's what I do but it just seems to um, not push them into each other because I really want some distinction in the colors okay well wow, that one just took off and ran I don't want these real big so I'm just gonna blow a little bit And no, no particular shape, I guess. If it's a leaf, it could be anything. It could be turned different or, I mean, I don't know if it's a flower. I'm just, just doing. That's on the big side of what I'm wanting, but they're, they seem to be getting big, so I may just have to deal with it. I'm kind of, I didn't mean to, but I think what I'm going to continue, I've got the blue on top here and the blue on the bottom. I think I'm going to do the blue on top and then the blue on the bottom on this side. See if, see if it makes it look cute. I don't know. It might. I don't know why it does that. That's this fractal thing. Hmm. There's only way I know to clear correct it. Look how fast it's going. Okay. See, they don't even have to look like anything. Okay, that's it for those colors. Rest of it, I think, is going to be ink work. It's wild how that one went back. That's cool. All these are actually pretty cool. Okay, okay, I am going. Let me get scrap paper. Let's see. 
It's got green. Let's shake this up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put my stem in. And because it's easier for my arm to do this, I'm going to start down here and pull it up to here. I think I'm good with that. All right. This is why you don't go back over them. Make them thicker, you get out of line. Okay, so there is that. Hmm. I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Um, I want to do some leaves in this. And I want to make them pretty fringy looking then we'll do the little squiggle things with them oh not all that was dry yeah let me get that dry I'm going to start down here. Glad I didn't mess up. Whew, that would have been scary. Alright, I'll push it out like that and then I'm going to hit it. these to kind of fill in. Some will go over it a time or two. Because you're not looking at it as a lot of little sprigs. You kind of look at it as a whole leaf.
like that. Now, the reason I didn't go with little dainty, sprigly things is because these are big, and they needed big leaves to go with them. So, I'm just trying to keep them in proportion with what type flower I've got going. Yeah. I think that's good. Ooh. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now is take my Bombay Violet. And we'll see if this won't be a good one to do on the flowers. Hmm. I don't think I have a blue. The violet's kind of not real strong, but you know what? It it's gonna be fine. The idea is there, and I'm just hitting them real crazy and hard. I'm not doing real dainty little vine, veiny looking things. I mean, the whole plant's crazy, so we'll just go from there. And I'm just kind of right on top of them and making them just go different directions. Normally, I'd try to scoot them in a you know direction and let it squiggy, and I just want these to be kind of crazy and nutty and all over the place. Hope y'all can see that. Let me see if I can get closer. The key is to remember to put it back when I get done. That was fun. But we are not done. You know, I gotta do something else. Okay, so let me think. I think I want to do, and I don't have this down. Um, let's do Bombay Blue. I haven't used the Bombays in a little bit, and I did a comparison, I think 152 maybe. Um, and I kind of stuck them back in a box and forgot about them until I did that, and I was like, I'm getting these back out. All right, so just curious, let's see what one of those will do. Let's see if the color's different. It's different. <laughs> it's not as dark. But I think I'm going I'm to leave it. But that, that could have been an option, too. 
What's cool about the Bombay inks, you can get them in sets. All right. What I was going to do is card. Um, a credit card works better just because it's not as flimsy. This one you can kind of bend and so. But what I'm going to do is take this through and I really want to dab it off until I don't have much at all on there. Then I'm just going to make small, small, small indications. Now, I don't really want to go over my flowers. I don't mind going over the leaves. And when I get to a spot that can't handle the whole width of the card, I turn up on its side and do that. Oh, I went through there. I really didn't want to do that. Then, if you wanted, you can always go through the purple and just put one or two here, not a lot, just to pull some of the color, not much. I just think if you try to match the color all over the place, you kind of get that weird feeling. And I may have done too much blue, but, you know. Gives you an idea. And, but what I am going to do here is take a little bit of more purple. Get it good and watered. And that's a great way to fill up a spot that you don't have a lot in. And just overall put something interesting in the picture. I think that's it. I'm out of paint. Purple. Anyway. Alright. I hope I gave you some ideas. You know, play with stuff. Alright. Y'all go have fun. Oh, see, I did forget to bring it back up. Okay. Now go have fun. <laughs>